Let's talk about the fibers of concrete categories. So the question is, given a concrete category E over X, how should we think about the possible structures that we can associate to each X object X? We start with the definition. Given a concrete category U, E to X, the fiber over an X object X is a category, which we denote E by E X, consisting of E objects A, such that U A is equal to X, and the arrows between these objects are going to be arrows in um, E, F A to A prime, such that U F is equal to the identity on X. In other words, the fiber over X is a one pullback in the following diagram of functors. Note that since U is faithful, the, the fiber category is always a thin category. In the following, um, in, the, in the subsequent sections, we're going to say that an E arrow F A to B is identity carried whenever U F is equal to the identity on X for some X object X. Let's give some examples. So when we consider the concrete category of topological spaces over sets, and we're given some set X, then the fiber category over um, the fiber over X consists of all those topological spaces with underlying set X. And we see that this category has an initial object, which is the discrete topology on X, and a fi final object, which is the indiscrete topology on X. And given any two topological structures, x tau and x tau prime on x, there is a arrow in the fiber, um, which is identity carried. So it's, it's the identity on x from x tau to x tau prime, if and only if tau prime is contained in tau. We see that the fiber is a complete lattice, since given any collection of topological structures on X, the intersection is easily seen to be a topological structure on X. This property also allows us to uniquely lift uh, limits and co-limit constructions in sets to topological spaces. For another example, we have the category of metric spaces with continuous maps, which is concrete over set. And similar to the example before, we have that the identity on X from um, X with the metric D to X to the metric D prime um, is a continuous map if and only if the topology that's induced by these metrics are uh, in the same relation as the, the property above or the, the example above. In particular, if the distinct me metrics D and D prime are strongly equivalent, then there is an isomorphism of metric spaces, which is identity carried by the forgetful functor. For the concrete category of groups over set, we have that the fiber over a set X um, has a discrete structure, uh, i.e. if the identity on X lifts to a group, iso, F, G to G prime, then we necessarily have that G is equal to G prime as groups. Uh, this is true for all algebraic concrete categories over sets, such as commutative rings or modules over a ring R, or abelian groups, or monoids, or, or, or any other type of algebraic concrete category. Now we give a, another definition that a concrete category U E to X is fiber complete, provided its fibers are complete lattices. It is fiber discrete if the fibers are ordered by equality. A good heuristic is to remember that topological categories are fiber complete and that algebraic categories are fiber discrete in general. And we have the following result that a concrete category U E to X is fiber discrete if and only if U reflects identities. The proof is that if we have this arrow F A to B, which is identity carried, i.e. U F is equal to the identity for some X, then since U is fiber discrete, we much, must have A equal to B and F equal to the identity on A. Conversely, if U reflects identities, no two distinct objects in the fiber have a, a, an identity carried E arrow between them. So we use the following notation that uh, we let this two tilde be the smallest connected groupoid with two objects, i.e. we have two distinct objects and two non-identity morphisms which are 
inverse to each other. They're, they're isomorphic. Then a functor from 2 tilde to E is the same thing as giving an iso and its inverse in E. The next definition that we have is that um, we have this concrete category, u e to x, and we say that u is amnestic, or we say that the concrete category is amnestic, pr provided that we have this unique functor um, going from 2 tilde to 1 is orthogonal to the functor u, the, the, the faithful functor i.e. for each commuting square, there is this unique lift to E. We say that U is transportable, provided that this picking out of the object 0 in 2 tilde lifts. It has this lifting property to U. This means that given that commuting diagram, that there exists at least one lift. And then we say that it's uniquely transportable, provided that there exists exactly one lift, so it's, or, it's orthogonal. Roughly speaking, a concrete category is amnestic when there aren't too many objects in the fiber, and it's transportable when there are enough. The property of being uniquely transportable is when there are just enough. Uh, this will allow us to lift certain constructions in the base category. The second result we have is that a concrete category is uniquely transportable if and only if it is transportable and amnestic. The proof is that suppose we have this, um, the, the, the faithful functor u e to x, and it is uniquely transportable, and we let f a to a prime be an identity carried e arrow, i.e. uf is equal to the identity on x. Then since the identity on x is an isomorphism, there exists this unique lift to an, uh, an e iso, because it's uniquely transportable. And then since a, uh, the identity on A is one such lift, we must necessarily have that A is equal to A prime, thus it's amnestic. Conversely, if we have um, U, E to X be, being transportable and amnestic, and we're given this isomorphic, isomorphism K, U, A to X, then by the property of being transportable, there exists some lift to an E iso F A to A prime such that U F is equal to K. And if we're given another such lift, F prime A to A double prime, um, then we have this commuting diagram where the bottom arrows are each isomorphic uh, isomorphisms because isomorphisms compose and they're closed under compo uh, composition. Um, therefore, we have uh, this being carried to an identity, and therefore a prime must be isomorphic to a double prime, which therefore shows that f is is um, that a must be equal a prime must be equal to a double prime since u is amnestic, and thus we have f is equal to f prime. Let's give some examples. So top, the category of topological spaces is uniquely transportable over set. If we have this uh, bijection from x to y, then there exists only one topology um, such that, that it lifts to a homeomorphism. And the, precisely, we've given the, the topology um, there. Now, if we have the category of metric spaces and continuous maps, it's not amnestic over set. And that's because if we have, um, that, that, well, there's many different types of, of metrics, equivalent metrics, which aren't equal to each other. And so we're not going to get a, a unique lifting. It is, however, transportable. There exists some lifting, and we give that here. If we have uh, this pathological concrete category of the walking category to this non-empty category X, which picks out this arrow F, it is amnestic since the only isomorphisms in this walking category are the identities. It is transportable um, and therefore also uniquely transportable if and only if F is iso in X. For a concrete category P over 1, in other words, an order, 
we can see that it is transportable. Um, you have this diagram and, and the one, the terminal category, doesn't add anything to it. So it's just, we just have this commuting triangle. Um, however, it is amnestic if and only if the, the order of P, so if we consider P as an order, it is anti-symmetric. Um, in other words, a poset. Therefore, it is uniquely transportable if and only if it is anti-symmetric, i.e. A, po a poset. Now, if we look at the Yoneda embedding, um, it is clearly amnestic since each fiber is isomorphic to either, it was either going to be the empty category or if it's uh, the representable y-axis, then it's going to be isomorphic to the terminal category. However, there, the the if there exist representables f um, with f not equal to some uh, yx, then it shows that it's not transportable. Now, every algebraic concrete category and every topological concrete category is uniquely transportable, and we'll show that later, and we'll talk more about what we mean by algebraic and, and topological. Finally, if we consider the skeleton of, of a finite dimensional vector space, it consists of all these um, objects. If we're, we're if we're considering the vector spaces over R, it's all the objects R n. Then we see that it is amnestic, but it is not transportable because there aren't enough objects to lift in the in the category, um, the skeletal category. Like many properties of concrete categories, the properties of being amnestic and transportable are not closed under equivalence. And so we're dabbling a little bit in this concept of evil, uh, which you can see at, uh, you can you could look at what evil means in the NLAB, um, NLAB site. So as a final thought, to better understand how an object in a base category of a concrete category can be given structure, we need to look at the fibers, and the nicest concrete categories are those which are uniquely transportable.